Hello again. Uh, in this session, I'm going to talk about uh, whether to use Windows or Linux for security assessment, ethical hacking, and penetration testing. A lot of uh, friends of mine, uh, as well as students, were asking about whether to use uh, Windows or Linux for many of the uh, tasks related to security assessment, ethical hacking, and penetration testing. Um, for me, myself, I prefer to use both, meaning that I would uh, prefer to use Windows as well as Linux. The question is why? Okay, if you ask about why, I prefer Linux because there are many tools available for Linux, which are open source. Therefore, we don't need to pay anything, any single cent. And for Windows, well, um, Windows has several uh, features which are not also available, or I would say not available in uh, on Linux. Uh, some of the tools are only, uh, I would say, run under uh, Windows and uh, not available on Linux due to the architecture, uh, what do you call this, um, uh, and design uh, that was actually uh, one of the reasons why some of the tools would not run under uh, Windows, uh, sorry, it would not run under Linux, uh, only runs, those tools are only uh, uh, applicable or run under Windows. Yeah. Um, I've already tested several tools uh, available for Linux. Some are available for Windows, some are not. Therefore, we need to install actually both. And for this case, I usually use um, Windows and Linux uh, in my virtual uh, environment or my virtualization. Yeah. So just an example here. For Linux, I would prefer to use Kali. So for example, this one. This is my Kali, and when you install Kali, by default, you will see a lot of uh, tools already available. It's just there for you to uh, use and explore, okay? So from information gathering, vulnerability analysis, web application analysis, up to reporting tools and social engineering tool, okay? And then for Windows, Oops, I'll postpone this. I would suggest if you use Windows for your, uh, you know, security assessment uh, slash testing, vulnerability assessment, uh, ethical hacking, and penetration testing, I would really suggest that you use Windows 7. Uh, let me just open up. I would really uh, suggest that you use Windows 7 at least Pro or Ultimate Edition uh, because of several features available on Windows 7 and uh, seems that Windows 7 is uh, more stable rather than Windows XP for example. I would not really suggest you to install the latest version of Windows like Windows 10 because they have uh, Windows 10 has a lot of uh, security restrictions you may not be able to run uh, you know, some Windows programs or applications due to uh, the restriction from uh, Microsoft. Like for example, Windows Defender, right? So Windows Defender by default is installed uh, on Windows uh, 10 and it, what, it won't allow us to actually run several programs or applications uh, that might be considered to be uh, a virus or malware. So for example, here uh, I could install my Burp Suite, my NetSparker, uh, the Shelter, yeah, uh, for malware uh, testing or creating, uh, let's say, backdoor, as well as other tools, yeah. Uh, so some tools are, are only available, as I already mentioned, yeah, like for example, here I have 
the uh, Acunatix version 10, for example, and other tools such as uh, NetSparker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so let me just check whether I have NetSparker. So basically, again, it's up to you whether to use your Windows, your favorite Windows, or Linux. It's your preference. So, uh, or of course, you can actually use um, Windows, both Windows and Linux, as your preference because it will allow you to, uh, you know, easily switch from one platform to a different platform. And it is actually uh, recommended to actually use the uh, virtualization such as this one. Uh, I'm running a VMware Workstation version uh, 15.5 uh, that will also allow you to uh, switch between a platform or operating systems. All right, so uh, those uh, are the operating systems that, that I normally use and again it's up to you you can choose any uh, other platforms uh, such as Backbox for example or uh, even Parrot and notice that they already have uh, this kind of tools available okay so uh, that's my very very short uh, lesson or a uh, tutorial about uh, whether to choose Windows or Linux for your security assessment, uh, what we call this testing, ethical hacking, penetration testing, and even for forensic if you like. Okay, so that's all for the session and see you next time.